Good morning, K2A. Today for math, we're going to learn about addition. Does anyone know what addition is? Yes, addition is when you put two numbers together. Okay, so kind of another word is plus, an easier word. So when you plus numbers together, when you do addition, we use this little sign. Okay, the sign is very important. Okay, anyone know what this one is called? Yes, this is the plus sign. Okay, it's just like this plus like this okay that's the plus sign and there are many ways that we can do addition okay, and here are the different ways and I'm going to go through each of the ways with you okay we're going to start we're going to use this equation okay this problem we're going to try to figure it out together okay we're going to do let's say together three plus two okay we want to know what three plus two is okay, I'll write it bigger for you here three Okay, I'm my plus, two, and then we learned equals, okay? Let's start by using our fingers to figure it out, okay? So I want you to start by putting up three fingers in one hand. Okay, show me three fingers. All right, now two fingers in the other hand. Okay, so here we have three plus two. Okay, now we're going to count all our fingers to find out what three plus two is. You ready? Count with me. One two, three, four, five. So three plus two is, that's right, five. All right, three plus two equals five. All right, so there's one way, counting with our fingers. Another way is we can use pictures. So you can draw, you can get a piece of paper. Okay, so three, okay, so maybe you wanna do three stars. So here we have three stars, let's count. One, two, three, plus two, plus two parts, right? One, two, okay, so three stars plus two hearts. And what does that equal? Let's count it all together, you ready? One, two, three, four, five. So three plus two equals five, that's right. Okay, so, so far we've done counting with our fingers. You can use pictures. You can also use counters, okay? So these counters, maybe they could be your cubes at home or Legos. Okay, I'm gonna <clears throat> use these. You can use magnets. Whatever you have at home, you can use to help you count, okay? So maybe I could start again three. So here we have three red counters, so I can take three cubes, one, two, three, right? I have three cubes in one hand, okay? And then plus two more cubes in my other hand, right? Here, three plus two. Now I can look at them and I'm gonna count them all now, okay? So let's count together. One, two, three, four, five. So three plus two is five, that's right, okay? Another way, a little harder, is you can use your brain, okay? So you don't use anything, but you think about it. So three plus two, maybe you can close your eyes and think, okay, hmm, I'm going to picture three balloons, okay? I have three balloons in my head. Can you see? Can you see three balloons? Now, my friend just came and gave me two more balloons, okay? So three, now I need two more balloons. Okay, so I have three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so three plus two is five. You can use your brain if that's easy for you. If not, you can use these other ways, okay? Another way is you can use a number line, all right? A number line, here's what a number line looks like. Do you see that? A number line, okay? So when you use a number line, you have three plus two. So we look at the first number, okay? We put our finger on three because that's where we start. Now we have to plus two which means we are going to jump two. All right, you ready? Look, three, one, okay, and two. What number have I reached? Five. Okay, I'm gonna show you again. I started three and now I have to plus two, so I need to add two more. I'm gonna hop two steps. You ready? One and two. What number have I reached? Five. So three plus two equals five, okay? And our final way is you can use a part-part whole. So if you get a mat, okay, you can again use 
cubes. Put three cubes in one box, two on the other, count them all, and then on this one you can put the total. Okay, it's kind of similar to these other ways. All right, so that's how you do addition. I hope that helps. I want you to, when you're home now, use your addition flashcards that we gave you. Get some cubes or Legos or whatever you have at home and start practicing, okay? So here you can use your fingers, you can use pictures, counters, you can use your brain, you can draw a number line, or you can use a part, part, whole. All right, good luck, and I will see you soon. Bye.